Your dreams are your dreams. The destiny that God laid out for you is your destiny. When I was thinking about the vision that God had given to me for my life, I took a lot of things into consideration. I've told you guys before about Matthew 6.33 that says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all these things will be added unto you. That to me means God's order. It means his divine order of things and how he sees that for my life, it would be best if it were laid out in this kind of a path. So these are the steps I take, these are the people I get involved with, so on and so forth. Because I'm a person that likes to follow instructions and I have a lot more comfort where there is a little bit of structure, I like that. So I looked in Jeremiah, remember, I always talk to you guys about my favorite verses, Jeremiah 29, 11 through 14. So in there, it talks about seeking God with all of your heart and he promises that he will be found by you. So for me, I have my vision, I have my goal, I have the things that God has laid on my heart and what I really want to do. How do I go about doing it? Well, I'm going to get really close to God first of all. And how am I going to do that? I'm going to seek him with all of my heart. I'm going to put him first. So then I love Proverbs 4:25. Set your gaze on the path before you with fixed purpose, looking straight ahead, ignore life's distractions. How difficult is it when you've got all this stuff coming at you, oh, but God says, ignore the distractions. And that's really something that you can do as a matter of habit. It's like any other discipline that you have done in your life if you like to exercise and you go to the gym regularly or uh, there are certain foods that you don't eat, think about things in your life that you have been able to be disciplined with. Maybe you play a sport and you always go to practice and you've gotten better and better and better. You guys, it's the same way with God. When you want to make a change in your life, you make a decision about it, you practice it or you rehearse it or you make a concerted effort to always go and do that thing consistently. As you build consistency with the things that you want to do, then pretty soon that becomes common practice for you. The next scripture that I love is Ephesians 3.20. Now that one says, never doubt God's mighty power to work in you and accomplish all of this. He will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request, your most unbelievable dream, and exceed your wildest imagination. He will outdo them all, for his miraculous power constantly energizes you. I love that because here is a promise from God that says never doubt God's mighty power to work in you and that he will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request, your most unbelievable dream. So that deals with two things. Number one, do not doubt that he is working in your favor, that he loves you. As you get to know more and more of the scriptures in the Bible and more and more of the nature of God, we cannot doubt. Doubt and faith cannot coexist in the same sphere. One cancels out the other. And then it talks about how he will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request and your most unbelievable dream and exceed your wildest imagination. You guys do not limit God. That's what it says. He wants to do a great work in you. He wants to do a great work through you and he wants to partner with you to do amazing and awesome and mighty things. Do not limit God. What does limiting look like? Oh, I don't know. God says all these great things, but you know, I, I don't know. I'm not that talented. I don't really think I can do that. That puts a limitation on God and he wants to bless you abundantly above and beyond anything that you can think or imagine. So I want to leave you with Ephesians 1.18. I pray that the light of God will illuminate the eyes of your imagination flooding you with light until you experience the full revelation of the hope of his calling. That is the wealth of God's glorious inheritances that he finds in us. God bless you. Go forth in who God is calling you to be. Have faith, do not doubt, and above all, know that he loves you and he is there for you, rooting for you to succeed.